do you have a desire to memorise scripture? Or perhaps you know a verse, but you're not sure where it comes from. This quiz is designed to help you memorise Bible verses. The topic for this quiz is anxiety. By the end, you should know five powerful, short passages of scripture you can call upon to encourage others or for when you're feeling anxious. When we have God's word memorised, we're more likely to apply it to our daily lives. Let's focus our minds on the word of God and store it up in our hearts. Let's allow the Holy Spirit to work within us, shaping our characters to become more like Christ. The quiz will have three parts. In part one, I'll read the Bible quotes out, one at a time. You'll have to see if you know where they come from. In part two, I'll give you the answers. I'll read the quotes again with the Bible reference. In part three, I'll give you the Bible reference, but see if you can remember the corresponding quotes. They'll be in a different order. I'll be using the English Standard Version of the Bible. Ready? Let's go. Part 1. Each slide will be up for 25 seconds. Where do these quotes come from? Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? If then you are not able to do as small a thing as that, why are you anxious about the rest? Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Are you ready for the answers? Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That's from Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life. If then you are not able to do as small a thing as that, why are you anxious about the rest? That's from Luke 12, verses 25 to 26. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. 
That's from 1 Peter 5, verses 6 and 7. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. That's from Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. That's from John 16, verse 33. In this last section, can you remember the Bible quotes? You'll have 20 seconds for each slide. They will come in a different order. What's Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6? Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. What's 1 Peter 5, verses 6 and 7? Peter 5 verses 6 and 7 says, Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. What's Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7? Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. What's John 16, verse 33? John 16 verse 33 says, I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. What's Luke 12 verses 25 to 26? Luke 12, verses 25 and 26 says, And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? If then you are not able to do as small a thing as that, why are you anxious about the rest? How did you get on? Let me know in the comments section. Why not repeat this video again tomorrow to check if you've remembered these five Bible passages about anxiety? And please do look these passages up in your Bible to read them in context. You'll find more resources and quizzes on our website, unboxthebible.org. The link is in the description box. And if you've enjoyed this Bible quiz, please like this video, 
subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you'll know when new quizzes come live.